This is Van Silk, not in my house. Another topic. Another topic. So we all know the, what happened between Kanye West and Adidas and Kanye West and The Gap and Kanye West and all his business deals so much back. And his Yeezy shoe line with Adidas, they cut ties with him after his anti-Semitic remarks. Well, according to Financial Times, Adidas struck gold with leftover Yeezy's inventory that have piled up in the warehouse found this ill-fated tie-up with the rappers formerly known as Kanye West. They received online orders that totaled 5.6 million, according to Financial Times. The German sportwear brand Put the first batch of Yeezys, see? People don't get it, up for sale last month and sold four million sneakers within 48 hours. The source added that surprisingly high demand for the sneakers, which were yanked off the market in October, following his yay's anti-Semitic remarks, meant Adidas wouldn't be able to meet all the orders. However, the multi-million dollar sold mean the company likely won't have to take a big write down on its remaining stock. Now here, I want to say this to all you Kanye fans, all you out there burning sneakers and Adidas and all that. No matter what Kanye was doing, you were in partners with Adidas. They put the money up. Basically, they was your boss. He's why he going to put out his own sneakers and his own Yeezys and all this stuff. He don't have the capital. He don't have the cash because you could spend $300 million that quick. Just on five different pairs of sneakers if you want to accommodate every size of people in this world. You don't have the store. You don't have the shelf. You don't have the marketing. You, it, it just doesn't work like that. But I want to go on to say, did it say a significant portion of profits from the June sale will be donated to five organizations that combat racism and anti-Semitism, including the FM the Anti-Defamation League and the uh, Keita Floyd Institute for Social Change founded by George Floyd Brother. Donation could exceed $9 million, which was reported to Financial Times. The source added that the final amount gifted to these organizations could be greater as Adidas is prepared to pay out a significant share of the profit from the Yeezy sales. Get back to business. Now, Kanye will receive royalties on the sales. They don't know what it could be. Forbes estimate that he made $220 million annually from the partnership, which began in 2019. So we can see the pro sales are going to be used to pay costs associated with ending the partnership, including legal fees, closure of production capacity, and laying off staff. And this is what I'm talking about. Y'all talking about, oh, he this and he that. Kanye, Yeezy eclipsed one billion dollars in sales annually, skyrocketing. Yeezy's net worth, but he fell out the billionaire rank after a string of public meltdowns pushed Adidas to cut ties. Now this is all according to New York Post, Financial Times, everything. We all know what happened with Kanye. We all know what he did. We all know what he said. We're not going to go and relive all that. Adidas CEO said in March that Adidas will probably not make a profit off the remaining Yeezy inventory. Adidas also consulted with three diverse group of employees and organizations before deciding to release the apparel on its app. 15 Yeezy models were on offer ranging from $70 to $260. So it's told Financial Times that the popular 500 utility black sneaker, which averaged about $300 to pay online. We sell the stock X sold in Europe within hours. Basically, Adidas have forecast a loss in 2023 fiscal year before announcing its intention to sell leftovers, easy stock. So, in the quarter, first quarter this year, Adidas saw a 20% sales decline in North America, down 5% excluding easy, according to his earning statement. Basically, 
stockholders and all. Like, listen, we'll take a loss, we'll get it back. Meanwhile, there's no Yeezys. There's no Balencia. There's no nothing. Keep trying to tell y'all. Big bank take little bank. Kanye caused this on himself. He ran his mutt mouth. Thought he was big. You begged Forbes magazine to put you in the millionaire status, which was based on valuation. You didn't have a billionaire cash. A lot of your fan base thinking, oh, he's a billionaire. Oh, he's this and that. Well, you know what? I'm not here to bad mouth anybody. But at the end of the day, where's Kanye at now in business? All you to do is stay in business. You did the deals. There was nothing wrong with the deal. Imagine profiting, getting at least $220 million a year from a sneaker company for your brand, and you basically ain't got to do nothing. Think about that, people. This is your brother Van Silk, not in my house, on YouTube.com, Rubble.com, Spotify for podcasters. I got to go.